what, what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? You know how every time a trigger happy cop shoots someone or he escalates the situation instead of de-escalating the situation and people will invariably say they need more training they need better training got a former baltimore police officer by the name of larry smith who disputes those claims larry said that police officers are trained to fear they have an us against them mentality. He said that this is what they do. It's us against them. So all of you people out there that are cop apologists, that's always riding with them, no matter what, just blindly riding with the cop, no matter what they do, this is for you. It's us against them. That's the mentality. Here's what Larry said in detail. Police departments find several ways to keep cops afraid. And a lot of this fear is cloaked as self-defense and remaining alert. Once a year in my department, we were required to qualify with our duty weapons at the gun range. And when I went, the range staff showed a plethora of YouTube videos of police involved shootings. I left the police field before body cameras became the norm. So most of the videos I saw at those times were from dash cams from stopped cars, which to note, the BPD didn't have at the time because cops would pull out the wiring to disable the cameras. Think about it. A bunch of cops sitting in a small windowless room in the basement of the Northeast Police District watching video after video of cops getting into shootouts during traffic stops. It reminded me of the highway accident movies in the driver's education class 20 years earlier. Basically hours of worst case scenario training. There was very little emphasis on any sort of de-escalation. It was all point and shoot. Now obviously, for us to qualify with our handguns, shooting is necessary. But there's so much more to it than that. You have to wonder how the training affects a cop when they pull over a car. With a head full of shootout videos, an officer might be going into the stop already convinced they could be shot. Police officers aren't trained to shoot to kill. We're trained to incapacitate. I must have heard shoot to incapacitate about 5,000 times in my career. It's the substitution of a technical term for a literal one. However, when a police officer is killed in the line of duty, you never hear it referred to as incapacitated in the line of duty. We are taught to shoot at center mass, the area of the body above the waist to below the neck, because it's the largest and easiest to aim for. But it's no coincidence that the center mass is where vital organs reside. Officers are also trained to assume an interview stance when speaking to someone. Your body should be angled so the gun side is not facing the person in case they grab for it. We must keep physical distance between us and civilians. Again, planning for the worst case scenario that someone will try to take your gun. Here's the deal. I have no problem with cops practicing the worst case scenario if engaged. I live my life like that. That's why I don't really get into arguments and stuff like that. Because if you think about it, most of the people you know that has been killed during a physical altercation or even was bumped off. An argument ensued prior to them being killed. So I'm always thinking, what's the worst thing that could happen? And I prepare for that. Now, my problem is this us against them mentality when they're supposed to be the public servants. They're supposed to be out there playing hero, trying to keep the public safe. But the public is actually in fear of them. 
Now, I don't believe this idea that all cops are fearful of the public. Yes, a lot of them are. A lot of them are straight up cowards. They are in fear. Every single day, they're in fear. But there are so many others who love to shoot. They love the adrenaline they get from pushing people around, beating people up. They love to talk crazy to people. A lot of them don't have good people skills. Uh, many of them are uncivilized. They have no business interacting with the public, let alone having the authority to tell someone what to do when they can't even control their own life. Walking around with guns and badges, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. This is a former cop telling you the truth. So all you cop apologists out there who can't ever see a cop doing something wrong, just blindly take the cop's side no matter what, just because he got on a uniform. You just automatically feel like he's in the right. What's crazy is that doctors wear uniforms, but you don't automatically believe that when something happens to your loved one that the doctor failed to do something. You don't get a doctor that kind of action. So why you get that action to a cop? Just blindly give it to him. I would love to be able to trust a cop like that. If cops really were like they're supposed to be, or like they proclaim to be, like they put the information out there that cops are supposed to be the good guys, if they really were like that, man, I'd be the first one riding for them. I'd like, man, we got to protect our cops. Because I want to live in a safe neighborhood too. I want to feel safe when I walk outside my door or even inside my home. I want to feel safe too. There's a huge misconception that somehow, because black folks don't snitch, uh, mostly, that somehow that they don't care about their neighborhood being protected and all this stuff. No, black folks understand that you can call the cops and the cops will show up and then they start asking you for your ID and running a check on you and trying to uh, arrest you. Might even shoot you. You call them for somebody breaking into your house, they show up and put the cuffs on you. Like, wait a minute, we gotta cuff you before we can determine whether, whose house this is, we gotta, before we can determine if you're the burglar. So, there it is, family. That's the truth. The cops are trained to fear. That's for all you people out there who think that somehow you got some type of inside love track on the cops. They look at you the same way, us against them. They don't need better training. They need home training. No more talk. What the talking about? <laughs>